It is time for yet another class review, and this time it is going to be on the brand new Dark Lord. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and of course, leave the video with a like. So, Dark Lord has literally only just come out, and you can head along to join Murder Moon, go into the merge shop, and you can go ahead and start your mini grind for the class. I've given this one overall a rank B, and we will get into the reasons for that, splitting it down into PvP, farming, and and of course soloing. This class all round is quite nice, especially for low level players, but as you get higher leveled, you're probably not really gonna use this so much and you will find it is yet another bank class. So let's start talking about the abilities. So your auto attack will hit up to four targets, which are in range for a melee attack. Your second ability, a blood boil, uses 25 mana and the cooldown is 15 seconds. It will summon your battle pet and it will increase your outgoing damage by 100% for eight seconds. Your third ability, Dark Power, 15 mana, 6 second cooldown. This one you'll strike up to 4 foe and apply the all important stack of Deep Rage to yourself each foe you hit. Dark Power's damage will increase with each stack you add of Deep Rage and that will stack up to 5. The skill deals plus 50% damage for every stack of Deep Rage that you apply. Ability 4, Bleeding Pain. Multi hits up to 4 targets, reducing the outgoing damage by 30% for 15 seconds. It also has a 50% chance to stun them for 4 seconds. Your fifth ability is Renewal Spell. This one costs no mana and has a cooldown of 30 seconds. You'll restore health and mana if you have at least one stack of Deep Rage. Your two rank 4 passives, the first one increases outgoing damage by 10% and haste by 5. Your other one will also increase your haste by additional 10%. Your rank 10 passive is called Leash Out. This one will damage all enemies in range. However, bear in mind it will consume all your stacks of Deep Rage. Okay, so on screen you can see me just attacking very casually, just so you can see the animations attached to this. But let's talk about farming. I've given this one a rank A. This is a all-out farming class. And for those of you who are lower leveled and free player, this is a very quick and easy one for you to go along and grab. It does fairly high damage, it has a nice heal attached to it, and it will keep you alive. Having said that, if you are of that higher level, you're probably not really going to use this one purely because there are better farmers out there for you. When it comes to soloing, this class gets a C from me. It's really not one that is meant for this purpose. High cooldowns and using quite a lot of mana does mean that against monsters that deal any sort of vaguely high damage, you are going to struggle quite a bit. Yes, your heal can heal you fully. That is a great perk. However, the cooldown time, it does take a while. So as you can see in the background here, if you're not paying too much attention to what you're doing, you will just get taken out by bosses. It's a very similar story when it comes to PvP. Getting a C, yet again Dark Lord, you're not really going to be able to take out any high tier classes here. Lower ones you may stand a bit of a chance, but the main issue with PvP nowadays is the fact of these high HP amulets. So that means the fire is going to go on for ages and you're just going to find yourself with no mana, even though your fifth ability will gain it back for you. The cooldown time on it just means that you're not going to be able to do it often enough to be able to help you out in the battle. Now although I did vaguely alright against the light caster and maybe I did just get a little bit lucky in that fight, you can pretty much see as soon as you come against Thief of Hours, Yami no Ronin, there really is not much hope for us in these fights, as you'd probably expect with them being S tier PvPers, but hey, you know what, I thought I'd show you it anyway. This class is actually quite fun to use and I do quite like it. I still have that feeling inside of me though that it's a little bit annoying for those rare collectors out there who have the original dark side. I know it's not a total reskin and things are different with this, but I do feel it takes away that 2012 nostalgia that those who have the original dark side may very occasionally feel. Now I'm quickly going to talk through the rotation that I tend to use. I haven't really used it so much in this video because when it comes to PvPing and soloing, you've got to hit those abilities whenever they are usable. So so my personal rotation for this is 3, 2, 4, 5. Reason being 3, you get that multi hitting straight away and of course get your stack of deep rage going. 2 to summon out that battle pet, apply the additional damage, hit them then with ability 4 for that potential stun and of course the damage reduction. And 5 then to regain some health and mana. So one thing we haven't spoke about is of course this is a battle pet class, so that's very very exciting. For argument's sake I always just have a battle pet equipped, I just find it easy. And then finally to summarise, overall the class gets a rank. B, PvP is a C, soloing is a C, and farming, I have put this up to the A tier on the basis that it is a free player, 
good damage, will keep you alive, and as far as it went when I was using it for farming, it was pretty effective, and I got the enemies killed nice and quickly. So it's quite a nice, enjoyable, easy to get class. For you free players out there, I'd recommend going along, grabbing that. It is going to be seasonal, so don't worry if it suddenly disappears, it will be back again next year. Make sure you leave the video a like, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you all again incredibly soon.